Yes. So we are sat in the green room a year to the day. A year to the day. Since you lads last headlined the Adelphi Club. <laughs> First and foremost, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Very good. Looking forward to this year. <laughs> That's good, because we're in the first month and there's 11 more of them to come. <laughs> yeah, 2024, talk to us. First. Yeah, we're getting a new album out officially this year. That is the main, the record, the second record, which we've been working for for a good few years now. With COVID and that, so. Oh yeah, it was just nice to get back touring last year, this year. But to slow down on the touring just to get this out and then once all the music's out, get back touring again. Get a good handful of singles out as well before the record. That's what we want. Does it have a name? Can I suppose that right this moment? <laughs> so still deciding. I just thought I just thought when you when you was on Blue Canoe you just kind of bared it all in. Oh yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Well folks <laughs> <laughs> here. Hey, should we do a cheers based cheers. on the fact that the album that, that can't be named? The album, is, yeah. the album that can't be named. There we are. Album two. That's what we would call it. Mm. It's been 365 days since we sat here. Wow. How's your year been? It's been great. It's been wonderful. That's been wonderful. I've been touring a lot. We saw you in, didn't we? You got to that on your show? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that yeah. since? Yeah, yeah, that was after. Oh, yeah. Scratch all this, then. Yeah, we've seen each other since. Public eye. Do your research, mate. Oh. <laughs> No, I just thought because you played it at Chameleon, it just blended in with every. Is that a few beers? <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, no. You need to stop like letting us interview when there's beers about. Before I interview you, yeah, 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 straight up. I just want to so we have seen, I've seen you since this time last year. Yeah, we have. It was a Tuesday night, wasn't it? Tuesday night. Yeah, what's public eye? Yeah, yeah. It was, a, it, was a, it was a beautiful little evening. It was. So. It was actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, always yeah. Quite, it's always good to see those boys as well. They're all busy. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, and they send their love. Oh, right, we send it right back. Right, right back. Love those boys. Yeah. Right back. Yeah, big keep, time. Keep they, going, keep working out. I'm sure you two bands will cross paths. Absolutely. In the near future. Yeah. I'm sure we will. Yeah. On some higher stages. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah big much. time. Absolutely. Big time. Because that, that's, that's where we met, was yeah. at the Shed in Leicester. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was a great that was night. A great night. That was great. That's class, got it. More of the same, probably, please, probably. tonight. Oh, oh yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Absolutely. But since then, you, the, when we interviewed you here, this time last year was the first night of your UK tour and then you went on to play places like Nottingham on a Tuesday night and then you went and did three dates in Switzerland. Talk to us about how that came about. We, Leo was playing with us tonight, Terry Blue, the artist, the group, him and his wife, Eleonora, and we met them at a gig in London and it was a quiet gig, hardly anybody there. We connected straight away, got on like house on fire, ended up building a relationship there and then basically and then he invited us over and we went over there and he set the whole tour and he was, did really days. well. We, we did six or seven dates out there in two weeks. It yeah, was the time of our lives. It, it was, was a great eye for the majority of us, yeah. He said he had to sleep for four days when you left. He did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
It was I, I certainly don't. the most tired I've ever been yeah, in yeah. my life while we I was asleep. Like 24 hours of traveling to get home. It was bad, yeah. Like, bad. Bad. What, what route did you have to take? So we, yeah. we got a, a plane. Oh, sorry. So, so we got a, a, a train from Hull to Manchester, to then Manchester Airport, a plane from Manchester to Milan, a train from Milan to Lagana, and right. then we did it like. Again, the once we'd finished it, yeah, the very same thing. But we just had like two weeks of just not sleeping. It was beautiful. <laughs> lots of drinking, lots of coffee. Lots of coffee. Lots, lots of, of great food. Music, lots of great food. Yeah, what's the food saying out there? The cheese. Oh, what's the cheese? The cheese is saying everything. Yeah, it's uh, like the Mediterranean. Let's cook the cuisine. Yeah. The Italian diet. Oh, it's what? Yeah. We, cook, we cook them an English breakfast after we'd been there for two weeks and ate their food, and even we couldn't handle it after that. <laughs> we was like dying. <laughs> like, like, did, you, did you give them the full works with the English breakfast? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, as much as we could, because obviously they didn't. What's that? Fried slice. Fratted. Fratted. Yeah, what is that? Fried, fried slice, fried. No, no, but we can we can roll with fratted, but I just don't know what it is. It's just fried, like a fried slice of bread, fried slice on your on your breakfast. Fried yeah, bread. so fri yeah, fried bread. Yeah, yeah. You said fratted. I did not say fratted. fratted. Did I? Did, did I? I? Here we go. <laughs> Sponsor me, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like when you go to like, Ireland, you get white pudding instead of black pudding. I just thought it was a whole whole special. Yeah, no, white, white, white pudding's pudding? an Irish, the What's Irish that? one, right? Yeah, yeah. Irish what? black pudding. White yeah, apparently you get yeah, yeah, red pudding. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to. No, Irish. <laughs> you get hash browns in Switzerland. Did you, did you do hash browns? He made us the best bread with a hash brown ever, which is potato rusty, Rus rusty. Yes. And he made it, and it was his, it was fucking god. Sorry for swearing there, people. Um, no, it was absolutely gorgeous. They hosted us so well, and little Ellie, she can eat more than all of us put together. I like fucking sorry. Silly, yeah, it's, it's, it's silly, silly how much that's silly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, magical, let's not go. This second album, how does it progress from the Forbidden Fruit, which was your first? Yeah. It's uh, we're a lot better players now, the writing's a lot better, yeah. we've thought about it all a lot more, and not, not even musically, also like. The mixing and how we want it to sound as like you know, rather than just you know plugging and play kind of very de developed sound. Yeah, you know, it's just exciting to get out. You know, like, you know, just still we're still using it. a lot of the same influences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we just yeah. the influence just get added to what we are. Just, just add influences, you know. Yeah. Every live gig that you're doing, every place that you go in, everything inspires us. Everything's inspired. Everything inspires us. Like, We've got Terry Blue supporting you this night. We do. He's come all the way from. Yeah. What an absolute yeah. legend! A legend. We love, we love people. Yeah. We are, we are them a lot. We're a family group. Straight up. You're headlining the Adelphi Club for a second year in a row. You can, you can feel it bubbling at this point. You've sound checked. Everything, everything's on point. You've got family and friends coming down. Yeah, talk to us about that. Ah, just, it's that just amazing know? that people like the buzzing about it as well. You know what I mean? It's like, just makes you feel great, doesn't it? Like, yeah. actually, people actually like want to come see it. Do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> buzzing. Fucking hell, Sam. Buzzing. It's mobbed too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but do you know what I mean? No, but it's yeah. great, isn't it? Like, like, like a kid at Christmas, eh? Like, that was actually right. Yeah. Um, no, it's very, it's very hard, and especially in our hometown as well. We've got, we've got a lot of love, and we just want that love that we get from our crowd to pass on to Leo and Eleonora because they deserve that. And we want the, the city to show them the love that they showed us when we was out there. Yeah. That's really nice. We've, we've been shown nothing but love since we've been in Hull both times. It's a, it's a funky bar. Yeah. You had a good time last time, didn't you? Yeah. yeah you <laughs> we went to that karaoke bar and I never got to sing my karaoke song, so I've been thinking if that happens again, I'm definitely singing. It's a year in the yeah. making, you're back here. It's time to make yeah, the yeah, yeah, one. You, you're yeah. still in the queue for it. Just never ends. Yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, when you look at these old school jukeboxes and it just keeps skipping. <laughs> Because I haven't got to sing my song yet, but we're going to iron out all of the creases by, by two o'clock this morning. And the rest. <laughs> it's good. And the rest, I imagine. Tonight, we're, we're hoping we can take you both to Polar Bear tonight. Yes. Which is uh, another uh, 
Polar we didn't go to Polar Bear. Where did we go to last time? Went to Box Box. You love Polar Bear. It's more like the scene, the artists, the band, people who are in bands go there. <laughs> People who come to gigs go there. It's a big friendly environment. That's that's the, the yeah, hope that's that, that people do. Heard about spiders as well. Talk to me about spiders. Spiders, yeah, spiders I mean, yeah. is just a legendary. Yeah. You love spiders. That's what we got talking about. Well. You love spiders. I've been saying before. It is Saturday. For it's Saturday. The truth. It's Saturday. It's, Saturday. it's, not, it's, yeah. it's not open. It's just a plan all along, wasn't it? We might do it. Actually. I actually have people to spiders. Oh, you come to spiders as well. Yeah. We're just slowly putting the hobbles in the crumpets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no karaoke there. Is there not? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I agree. Straight up. Um, yeah. There's something I was going to ask you. Oh, yeah. This is what I was going to ask you. Let's talk football because we have to touch base every single time. Oh, yeah. You had a good win last night. I'll never let this down. The Tigers. The Tigers did well last night, didn't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. Back in the top six. I want to wear it because I don't want to. We don't follow football as much as most people. We don't, we don't, we don't follow. <laughs> it's only a wear sexy bike. <laughs> I might as well plug Shadows of a that. Silhouette while we're here. <laughs> That's a band you should check out. Shadows of a Silhouette from the Derbyshire <laughs> region. Really? Yeah, yeah, really, really. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Very it heavy cool. hitting. It's like, like if Arctic Monkeys had started as heavy as they possibly could do. Oh, and right. then work backwards. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, right, okay. Yeah, well, that's quite yeah. intriguing. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, nice. get them in here because they'd absolutely tear it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'll hold you to that, please. Will you touch one? Yeah. Cheers, all. Cheers, all. We're doing a one. Cheers, all. Absolutely. Yeah. Big up Liam Rossini and everyone around. Yeah, Liam Rossini. Yeah. 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 Dabby Hero, Hero. Oh, yeah. Have we covered everything? Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about the last year? It's been, uh, it's been the highlight of the last. Uh, oh, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Street, just, just Street, 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 Street. And then we had the Land Humber Street Sesh, which is the, uh, nice. the festival of the city. That that was heard, a, I've heard about That was a big deal for us as well, because, you know, Adam, Adam had just had surgery on his hand. He uh, was in an incident, not an accident, an incident. And um, <laughs> his, uh, <laughs> his, uh, <laughs> his, uh, <laughs> his hand off. glided across the floor there. And he, had some, he had some form <laughs> of um, plastic surgery, but. Did you? Yeah, absolutely. He played one handed. He played one handed. One handed. Headline Humber Street session. He, he, he played Humber Street like that. One handed. He was the one talk handed. of the town. Like, the 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 as many as it. Yeah, and like, there's like in. Have you seen, yeah, seen Homer? Come on. Have you seen Homer? Yeah. Ask him. Have you seen Marv when he puts his hand on that? When he puts it, he bends his hand. I want to come off. Burns, like burn. I can see your ligaments and stuff. As well. Oh, I I this out. Seeing parts that you've never yeah. seen before, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but you well, know, he's been playing one handed, so he's got like his hand bandaged. So, did you do it before you went on or yeah. during you set? About three weeks before. Yeah. Oh, so it was just fully bandaged up by that yeah. point, and, yeah. and, yeah. and you just played one hand, one handed, like literally. Like, and, and you couldn't tell, unbelievable. Like, it was mad. Watching him, because as well, the week before... I bet you're a mint at guitar hero. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> we had a rehearsal before and we was like proper like, oh god, this is like, real, like, real tragic. And, and we went in, proper panicking, watched him playing, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just got the kit, did it? It was like, terrible for us. Big up the self Yeah, it's so a bad car. Bad car shit. Yeah. <laughs> We're absolutely buzzing tonight, yes. We're, we're looking for help. Look forward to tonight, look forward to the rest of the new year. Look forward to this album coming out. It's been a long time now, but need new music coming out. Once it comes out, it's going to be in a great situation. Yeah, you're we're just picking the right people to go well. with now. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully by October, we'll have a good time. We're doing a big UK part. All the corners of the UK. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Uh, the names get about in most of the major cities by that point. Yeah, okay. Obviously, Derby being oh, yeah, yeah. the majorist. Absolutely. 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 We'll get you in the bless. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. 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 Zach said he's going to come down for my next fight. Oh, yeah, so yeah. Boxing last year. He's a boxer. Yeah. I want to see his stance. Can't see. No, no, he's. he's <laughs> a, <laughs> I've heard he can box one ended as well. He can box one. He can box one. Probably. Well, but yeah, no. Yeah. Let us know about that because that'll be great. Look, boys. Yeah, yeah, it'd be an absolute pleasure to have you lads there as well. A good friend of ours who did a boxing charity match before, used one of our songs for his birthday before, so if you did he? use one of our songs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bonus, bonus arena, wasn't it? Yeah, bonus, bonus arena, absolutely connected arena. Really? Yeah. God. God. Yeah. Great. 
Man. I know it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It's definitely on the shortlist then. Yeah. So I want to choose one off the new album, so I'm looking forward to hearing it because I've not heard any of that. Yeah, fantastic. There we are. Boys, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Never a chore. Absolute legend. Which hand is it? Yeah, that, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Milton. Right, boys, have a fantastic evening. You're going to you bring the house down as you always do at the New Adelphi Club. This is your second home and it, it's, it's nice to be here. Right, beautiful time. Thank you for fantastic. being here. Fantastic, boys. See you later. Thank you both for being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my name's Aaron Lodge, most people know me as Bodge, and this evening we are back in the Adelphi Club as the fruit headline once again, and we are sat here with, with Terry Blue, who has come all the way from Switzerland to support the fruit boys this evening. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine and freezing, but very, it, very good. I was going to take my jacket <laughs> off for this interview, and then I thought... It, it hasn't warmed up enough in here. We've, we've been here. No, for, no, no, no. We'll, we'll wait for the people. Mate, think, we're going to need at least three or four of these and cheers yeah, up cheers to that as well. <laughs> so, you've come over from Switzerland. You're, you're doing a tour at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And um, you met the Fruit Boys down in London. Absolutely, yeah. So, just tell us a little bit about how you uh, first came to meet and, and what brings you here this evening. It's one of the best connections I think I've ever had in my life and also one of the best people I ever met in my life because it was the first time in London for us in the UK actually uh, playing in the UK and we we went down this strange pub in London um, it was not a good concert by the way it was just too good to meet people as kind as they are and as soon as they they played I was like flashed and completely blinded by the music and I said yeah I'm, I'm gonna bring them to Switzerland and just Make a, make a tour for them, and so we stay in contact. But actually, we've seen each other three times. We've played before here. Yeah, this is the third time yeah, that you've, yeah. you've been in the same space as yeah. each other. Yeah, the first time being in London Absolutely. when you first met. One hour, we just share the beer and yeah. talk. And yeah, from one side they were so good playing, but at the same time, just the hour we spent together, we, we became friends. Like it seemed like we knew each other for a long time, and I was like, yeah. We, we have to keep that alive, like, yeah. the game, through that the spark years. that yes. has been yeah. ignited. So you actually ended up being their tour manager as, as on the back end of their tour. So the first night was this time last year. Exactly. And part of that tour was they, they went and did three dates in Switzerland, which, yeah. which you organised for them. And, yes. and you were their tour guide, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Yes. How was that? It was a uh, freaking hard work. Um, <laughs> Because uh, of course uh, I had on funds, uh, instruments for them, places to sleep and everything. But I really wanted to do that. I asked for some pounds as well, the two pounds, and they gave me some pounds as well. Yeah. Because uh, of course uh, in Switzerland we do, it doesn't happen too much, too, too often to have English fans coming up and doing tours. And I was, um, I think, I think I, I did something good in terms of presentation and the town was really happy with that yeah okay yeah let's do this and so that that was easier and um i can actually contact with some friends who he got a bed for, for an english man and another one here another one here and we managed to find a place for to everyone. finally pattern yeah. it all up and yeah they, they played three dates while they were out in switzerland exactly right, no so. it's actually two weeks two weeks of tour really it was, it was, uh, it was I remember one thing when they left uh, the day after I think I slept four days in a row <laughs> I was I was I was mate you got the full English treatment there no no, no it was uh, absolutely out of this world I remember being in one of my favorite pubs in Switzerland and I think we do drink quite a lot in Switzerland and Nowadays, they still remember that night and they say, are they good? The English guys, they came up? Yeah. yeah. Because they, they just finished. <laughs> Absolutely <all> remember <laughs> nothing. There was something else. Yeah. Well, my friends are sleeping in the car and all of the guys were just fine. <laughs> so, 
Yeah. Water off a duck's back is, exactly. a, is a phrase we use in England where it's just like... <laughs> I got it. Yeah, yeah. It's the same, yeah. I, I think it's, it explains quite good yeah. the, the situation. Yeah, so you yourself, you're at the start of, am I right in thinking at all, yourself where, where you're doing? You've flown over from Switzerland yesterday. Yeah. You're going to play here tonight supporting the Fruit Boys. How excited are you to be playing the Adelphi Club? Um, I don't think I can express how much I'm excited, especially after being in this particular room. Yeah, uh, and seeing like Manfred and Son's ready head and everything he goes in the club is crazy to me. Um, and I still don't believe how how we got here. Actually, it's just the uh, energies, uh -huh. <laughs> the, 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 the way we met and the way we organized all the stuff. And now yeah. we're here in Adolf Club. Yeah, for us it's just unbelievable. Absolutely buzzing. Unbelievable. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. And then you go on to Italy after yeah. here. Yeah. And you do a couple of dates there and then you're going down to Spain as well. Exactly. exactly. It's going to be a bit warmer. Absolutely, it's going to be a bit of changing. <laughs> uh, yeah. As have, I said, you, have you packed for all manner of... Look, I, I underestimated how I have to be honest. I, I come from Switzerland and I would say, yeah, no, it's, it's not going to be in Switzerland. Yeah. God's sake. <laughs> There's something else. The sea yeah, air. Something else. No, no, no. The sea air coming in. It. I think I've never been so cold in my life. <laughs> never, never been so cold in my life. This wind is freezing my, well, my brain. Ho hopefully, the crowd provides some exactly, free, free exactly. heat for, for the stage. Just to, yeah, the warm up's going to have to be quite a vigorous one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A few of these and yeah, everything else. We're, we're from a place called Derby, which is very central in England. And even when we come up to the coast, you're freezing. We're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not yeah. me. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a, a rite of passage that you have to go through. Yeah. Uh, this is why you can understand why they all have long hair. <laughs> and they all have the facial hair. That, that's how you understand it. I, I keep them attached all yeah. the time. Yeah. Because in Switzerland, we don't have wind. No. So, so now I, I, would, I would love to keep yeah. them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop it flying <laughs> off. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So talk to us a little bit about your musical journey so uh yeah it's, uh, it's been a long journey actually it's been 10 years now i did the project nice uh, at the very beginning i was i was alone for a few years we've been playing with the band so uh, and songs and stuff and well i was always working at the same time i had a different career at the same time i was doing nursery actually working in hospitals and stuff and when when the chance came up to just do music uh, I jumped in it and then the only condition was uh, you have to make uh, an album alone you're gonna, you're gonna need you artistically and straight to the root of what you're doing and it was a big challenge for me because uh, it's not it's not so easy um, to publish an album where you actually just and play your time and and it's all stripped back and it's it's, it's very, just that you and the guitar yeah it's really straight in your in your face in your head and there's no effect to the it was a big challenge for me but uh, that album uh, kind of changed for all of our path because now um, last year we played more than 15 gigs around Europe for the first time we did something like that uh, we came to the UK as well which was one of the biggest wins for me. It was my dream playing in the UK. Nice. And uh, also, as I said before to you, singing in, in another language, which is not mine, not my mother tongue, it's kind of complicated because you don't really know how um, an Englishman will react to my music. And I was very scared at the very beginning. And then I actually saw that the effect is positive. Way. Even if I know, I I do that. You clearly say that I'm not in the UK, but it still works. And that that was something very important to me, and that changes a bit of my perspective on, on music. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's been yeah, an up, always up, up, up. Um, like I said, in two days we're, we're gonna play in Turin. We're, it's gonna be the biggest show ever. We 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 do. Uh, very stressed about that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wear a suit for that. Uh, to, yeah, get up it up yeah, for it, yeah. Absolutely. No, yeah. Just look at me. Yeah. I'm not the suit guy. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's been a it's been a long journey, and for a long time it was a hobby. Mm -hmm. And when it became a work, it stopped being a hobby. 
that means so, also that it's not like uh, I woke up, I wake yeah, up in the morning and I like, oh, let's play some songs. Nice. So it's not anymore. Yeah, it's not like I have to keep yeah. focused and, 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 and you're, you're, you're an entertainer. You're, you're also a product of people and you have to, you have to, you have to manage that and, and maneuver your way through. You're in a, probably a different place every couple of days doing that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's trying to tend to a new audience, and, yeah. Which is kind of strange also because you travel a lot, but you don't actually see places. Yeah, you get a snippet. Yeah, I can say I've been there, 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 and there, but actually didn't see that. It's always travelling, but not travelling at the same time. It's always been in the same state of mind. Yes, working and go to the gig, yeah, sleeping and go to the gig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's pros and cons to, yeah, to the absolutely, lifestyle. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think, uh, I'm sure there's a, a notion of discipline. Yeah. Uh, and a learning curve that comes with that as well, I'm sure. Yeah, somehow, yeah. 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 Um, I, I think what everyone, when, when, you, when you start doing music, it's mostly about fun. But being being on stage, being seen, but when it comes to the craft of it, and, and, and you actually become a, a, a legend to being on stage, being even if certain times because the actual work is something else. Yeah, yeah that, that was a big thing. In terms of the music that you are working on currently, what can we expect from, from Terry Blue and, and your wife as well, who, who also is very much involved in it? She's just there, but she doesn't want to speak. Yeah, she can see her. Yeah, she was saying that, that maybe maybe the language barrier. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that's something we'll work through, and this is why we need a Terry Blue episode at some point. So we can get both of us, both of us yeah, together. So one one thing we decided to do, knowing that you've come to England for the first time, um, we we have a. You got me. Oh. So this is this is probably the most famous bakery to have come from Derby. Wow. So it's called Bird's Bakery. And uh, we, we bought you, uh, you and your wife. Whoa. Come, and then now you, you yeah, have now to, you have yeah, to, now you have, now to, you have to come in to come have in. a look. Come on, come on. Look at this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, that way up. That you way should up. have a little sign on it saying this way up. But the caramel is on the top. So this is this is called a caramel donut. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And that that one's yours as well. You don't have to eat it on camera. But. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I would, you I would love to try. <laughs> yeah, get involved. Get involved. Can I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's warming my soul. Mm. Wow. Give the full, the full review. So the caramel mm. donut. Talk to us. That's something else. It's just too good. So plenty, plenty of cream in the middle. Lovely donut, and then it's finished off with with a caramel top. And as as Bird, as Bird's as Bakery, as, is, as most food I have eaten, in, I, feel, I feel like it's very healthy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's three meals in one. You won't need to eat for the rest of the trip yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Something to line the stomach. I love it. Yeah, absolutely spot on. This is gonna save me after the concert. Yeah. So so in Derby we have we have. Um, there was a thing set up uh, two, three years ago where there's 10 stars around Derby. So on the floor when you're walking around, and the, the Virgin Brothers who set up this bakery, they have their own star. They're on. Okay. Like Rolls Royce have one, there's a couple of actors and, and poets, and yeah, that's a walk of fame of sorts. And yeah, the, the, they are there. Yeah. Yeah, they there. Yeah. For a good reason. Yeah. Yeah. Really a good reason. There we are. I mean, absolutely spot on. In terms of Switzerland, so so what I know about Switzerland, obviously the army knife. 
Yeah, but you, you have more bakeries in that as well. Like, there's, there's... Yeah, we do. Um, I don't know. Do you want me to say what, what, what I think about this? Well, yeah, that's, that's a very that's 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 thing. But you live right on the border as well, so you live very close to Italy. And the, yeah. yeah. Um, I will tell you, the, the one thing that I think is uh, very important to to say about Switzerland. The one thing that will always defend me about Switzerland, and I'm not, I'm the least patriotic guy in Switzerland, but there's one thing that uh, really keeps in my heart, yes. the fact that uh, four languages, regions, and many, many, many different religions actually live together. Mm-hmm. And it's been a while now. Yeah, and that's something special. The community aspect. The community aspect, yeah. Uh, even of course, if you live in Switzerland, you can feel that something. Like you find tension, tension, certain regions and stuff, but still, we all live together in a peaceful way. That's something we, uh, the only thing I would, I would say it's important to switch the army, the army, absolutely not. The army is not the army, yeah, guys. Uh, when I said the army, no, it's just it's the seven that different was, bits on there. You, yeah. you made me think about it. Yeah, so um, sorry to bring that up, no, no, especially no, while you have mid cake as well. Stop coaching for the army, you don't need an army. Yeah, Come on. well said, <laughs> well said as well. And I think that applies to more than one country around the world as well, you know? Yeah. Especially at this particular point in in history yeah. that, that we're living in, at the start of twenty twenty four, there's there's a lot of um, wars that are happening or or conflicts that are happening that are funded and carried out because of armies around the world and Absolutely. and there's a, there's a reason why armies are in place but there's an extreme thing that happens with that as well Absolutely. and Absolutely. yeah and I, I'm sure that you feel like as a musician you're um, your responsibility is to travel around and and and, and give a message that, that is the complete opposite of music has the power to to unite people. I mean, we're sat here now. You touched a very interesting point there. Uh, has something to do with what's what's actually the purpose of music. I think there's a, as you said, a responsibility talking about the world. I don't mean being political. I don't mean that. Just talking about what you see and what you experience. Um, I'm, I'm very. Um, I don't. I don't trust musicians that just talk about themselves because I don't. There's a bigger, I'm, I'm, bigger I'm, world. Ironic, of course. Uh, it's a, an ironic way to say it. So, <laughs> but I don't, I don't think we should talk just about ourselves. Music has the, the right, the power, and the duty. I think also to talk about the world and what's happening around. Um, without being, being um, restrained by the commercials or Often, I think songs that actually talk about the world are not promoted as well as songs that talk about SMTV. Uh, most musicians 40 years ago say, do we really got to this point? You turn off the radio, there's nothing, no one talking about what's happening in the world. That's how it's stuff that actually matters, like you say. That's something better. So Dan Brady, the lead Dan Brady, in intellectual uh, vision, that's something we have to fight, I think, against. And I try my little, your, your, little, your bubble in, in, in little, little bubble. Yeah, yeah, I try my best yeah, to fight against it. Yeah, put on there. 2024, what, what are the plans for yourself, for Eleanor that, that obviously performs with you? you you're here in England. For the second time now, absolutely, yeah, yeah, and uh, it must be an exciting time for Terry Blue and absolutely for Terry Blue. Um, it's been an exciting year, it's going to be a more exciting year now. So we have uh, loads, loads of concerts, and actually, for the first time, big concerts as well in Italy and Switzerland. And I think the plan is, as usual, to keep on doing music. Uh, we've got an album ready, 
uh, we just waited to put the proper way to publish it, not just uh, sending it into the ocean and heading yeah, again. There's a, there's a structure. It's very difficult now to publish it. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I, I would say that the, my main objective this year is keeping on doing what I did last year. It was my first year as a 100% musician, no work inside. And I survived. So I hope I will survive another year <laughs> before going back to the That's nursery. It. You want to so. get a collection of these sorted out, mate, just to get yeah, Grim is, is right. Mate, you've done it right as well because I think every person from Derby will understand that, and that's what mm. I was literally about to say. The thumb lick that you get from the cream, Derby, I, I, I switched another proof. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the shot. I, I lost. I lost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're, you're all right with that, absolutely. It's wins it's and losses in this game, isn't it? I will, I will lose uh, two times again. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, it's been an absolute pleasure to be here with you. Me too, mate. Thank and, you very much. Uh, enjoy your performance and enjoy the rest of the evening after that as well. Thank you very much. Fantastic, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank there you. we are. Top stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, yes, mate. Fun. Thank you. Top man. What I was going to say is we should get everybody to sign the birds box. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Terry. Whack, whack your signature on the birds box. My yeah, birds. yeah, of course. Oh. Of course, this is how we're going to do it. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Terry Blue Canoe, that's what we've been calling it. Exactly. There we are. Fantastic, mate. Mike wants you, Mike wants you. Check, check, wants you. And I think I lost track of it as I follow footsteps in the wind. Shall we try a sun? All together, yes. Yeah. I'm very sorry, we don't have like actually a happy song. It's one of our biggest mistakes, I think. Perfect, perfect.